Marseille were missing injured playmaker Mathieu Valbuena as they took on Bordeaux. Well, Joey Barton was again left on the bench at kick-off. Bordeaux arrived at the Stade Velodrome on a miserable run of just one win in their last seven league games. This was the 100th top flight meeting of two French football's biggest names. And it was also a special occasion for Marseille coach Elie Boup. Boup spent six years in charge of Bordeaux earlier in his career and won the title with Les Girondins in 1999. Now, of course, Boup is trying to lead OM back into the Champions League. In January, signing Fouet Kadia nearly gave the home side an early lead in this one. The Algerian inches away from getting his first goal for the club there. Marseille continued to push forwards and André Pierre Gignac helped set up a shooting chance for André Ayou. But Cédric Carasso, playing against his former club, made the save. But OM did eventually get the breakthrough four minutes before half time. Benoit Cheru with a magnificent through ball for Gignac, who still had plenty of work to do, but took the goal well. His 11th of the season put Marseille on course for another precious three points. That goal separated the sides at half time. Given the trouble Bordeaux have had in putting the ball in the back of the net this season, it was already looking like a long way back for the visitors. Francis Gillot, the Bordeaux coach, sent on Nicolas Maurice Bellet for the injured Mariano at the interval, and the substitute came close to equalising there. Sheikh Diabate was unable to convert the follow up. But that was about as good as it got for Bordeaux, and Marseille might even have won by a greater margin. Rod Fanny's handiwork setting up this chance which was squandered by Gignac. But it didn't matter, Marseille keeping a fourth consecutive clean sheet and winning by a 1-0 margin for the 10th time already this season. They hold on to second place in the table as a result.